know because you do have a Hall of Fame vote, yes? I do. And I know here, uh, amongst my friends at least anyway, every year it comes up and I don't know how big you are on Facebook, but every year when the Riggin Honor and the Hall of Fame comes up, all my Giants fans are pounding the table for Leonard Marshall. Take us behind the scenes. Has his name come up at all? Does he have a chance? What's your personal take on Leonard Marshall? Because I know when Justin Tuck retired, the Giants were quick to put him in the Ring of Honor, and Leonard Marshall is still waiting for that phone call. Leonard, Leonard's not in the Ring of Honor? I didn't know that, so I'm going to... <laughs> Take that up as, 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 we as talk a cause. <laughs> I'll, I'll start writing about that. Yeah. I, I did not realize yeah. that the Giants put so many people in the first couple of years of the stadium. I lost track of who's in and who's not. He certainly deserves to be in. He was so important to that defense playing in front of Lawrence Taylor. I mean, the two of them together were, were terrorists. As far as the, the Hall of Fame is concerned, um, I've been on the committee for about eight years. We start off with a list of 75 or so candidates, and then we voted down to 25, we don't vote down to 15, and then with those 15 names are the ones we talk about in the meeting room the day before the Super Bowl, then we voted from 15 to 10 and 10 to 5. Leonard's name has never even been, in the, just the years I've been doing this, I don't believe it's been on that list of 75. But as far as the Ring of Honor at MetLife Stadium, he definitely deserves to be in there. You sure he's not in there, right? I'm telling you, this is <laughs> LT couldn't believe it either. We we asked Phil Sims about it. We saw at the uh, Giants reunion two years ago in Atlantic City. Uh -huh. We had asked Phil about it as well, and he was surprised too. So 